Very, very good. Keep boxing. It's very important. You've got to keep your back off the ropes. When you feel the ropes coming... When you're looking for him, he can't do anything. All he can do is a straight hand or a hook, and you saw what he did. He trips. He doesn't know what to do. Lively, lively, lively. Assert yourself. Assert your jab. Right here, you see what surprised me and has been prevalent most effective punch. The little left-hand lead of Manny's is he shoot right between the gloves of Oscar and dipping and getting away after he lands the punch. Pacquiao's learning curve has accelerated through the middle portion of his career. There was a moment when he was, even though dangerous and destructive, largely a one-note two. Jab, jab, straight left hand. His ability to fashion the first hand, or the lead left hand, starting his offense with it, as he's doing there, shows how much he's progressed as a tactician. The one thing that you mean is very obvious, Oscar De La Hoya has very little head movement, where Manny Pacquiao is using his upper body movement with his hands, his feet, his gloves, where Oscar is too stationary at this stage here. Manny is a much more elusive target. You know, Oscar used to dominate smaller guys when he was a young fighter. He was always put in with guys a weight, or, a weight division two less than him. He isn't doing it yet. And he hasn't really adjusted to the straight left-hand lead of Manny Pacquiao. He seems to be expecting Pacquiao to start with the right jab, and Pacquiao continues to confound him by coming straight up the middle with the left-hand lead. He has reddened Delaware's nose from top to bottom with that punch. You heard Freddie Roach telling Manny Pacquiao between rounds, as soon as you feel your back touch the ropes, move to the side and get away. He expects it's a different fight if they're in the center of the ring where Pacquiao's speed dominates as opposed to along the ropes where Deloia's strength could become a factor. There is a little welt on the side of Oscar's left eye where he has caught a couple of right hands. Manny's upper body movement in, in the defense is very, very effective, let's just say. Oscar cannot time his head movement the way he's moving and bobbing and weaving and dancing in and out. Indeed, Deloy is reduced to mostly trying to go at the body because he hasn't been able to find Pacquiao's head. But he has no head movement at all. His head is stationary. Good body shot. Doubled over Oscar, it seemed. And as you said, he is, he is bending his head so that there is only almost no height yes, difference yes, between right. them. Been down, Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut and up the middle. Yeah. And if round one was mostly Manny Pacquiao, round two is even more so. Deloy has not been able to solve Pacquiao's speed, movement, the southpaw style. If you look, if you get into fine details, not only the air hit movement is not, is not that with Oscar. He's fighting coming in most of the time leading on his heels, whereas Manny is operating on the ball of his feet. And somehow, so far, he is neutralizing Oscar's left hand, one of the best weapons in the sport for over a decade. The speed and variety of Manny Pacquiao on offense, the head movement defensively, the straight left hand up the middle. He has carved out an edge in the first couple of rounds against the longer, taller Oscar De La Hoya.